to my channel. Today I'm so excited to be sharing with you our dining room and the makeover that I recently did to it that you can kind of see behind me now. And I'm also excited to be bringing you along with me as I decorate our home for fall. I'm keeping it pretty low key this year. I normally like to add a lot of touches during fall and especially I like to go all out during Christmas, but We've got some projects going on that I'm trying to wrap up before Christmas time and due to that I just I'm gonna keep it kind of simple. I have some florals and some pumpkins I want to incorporate throughout the home and then some of the items that I showed you guys in last week's video when I took you shopping with me that I'm going to be adding to my space but other than that we're keeping it pretty simple. I'm going to be decorating the dining room, the kitchen, and the living room but i'm not going to be decorating our built-ins because hopefully within the next few weeks we are having somebody come out and run a pop a gas line to our mantle so that we can use it this winter and like that so that it's nice and cozy before christmas and due to that they're gonna have to run it up under the built-ins i don't want to decorate everything and then have to take it down within a few weeks so Leaving it as is, I took down all of my spring and summer decor and then I just kind of filled in with a couple of pumpkins, but just leaving it very simple. I'm excited to share this space with you guys. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you be a part of this community. And let's go ahead and go back in time and let me show you this space beforehand and we will do the board and batten and then we will get into the decorating. Here is the before of our dining room. I'm realizing now I didn't get any before shots of our kitchen, but as you can see, there's a bunch of blank space on the wall. These walls are very large and I didn't really know how to decorate them without looking cluttered. So I decided to do a board and batten. You can see us starting that here. I will link the calculator that I used down below to figure out the spacing between each board. And I will also link the type of board that we used because we ended up going with a tongue and groove type of wood so that we wouldn't have to use one by fours and tear out the baseboards. The color paint that I chose was Natural Cream, which is OC14 by Benjamin Moore. It's this really pretty mushroomy type of color. And here's the finished product. I am so in love with it. I think it makes our space look just so cozy and just so homey. the fall decorating all right so I'm starting with some florals I have a couple of different containers that I wanted to put some flowers in I think I'm gonna be doing this one in the kitchen this one on our coffee table and then this one on our island or our kitchen table and I wanted to share with you some stems that I have so I shared these in last week's video they were just a couple of the picks that I picked up from Joanne and then I also had these from last year and you guys, I still love these so much. I just think these are beautiful. They look like tree stems and then they have the burnt toned berries and just the touch of fall and color and the changing leaves. And I plan on using some of the other ones in a basket that I have. And then I picked these up this year. I need to trim them down, but they are these little white flowers, but they are kindly turning brown. I don't know if you can see, you can kind of see it like right here. I have these in pure white that I like to use during the spring, but I thought these would be really sweet and possibly this face. I cut this one already, but I need to trim up the rest of these and then we will fill all these spaces.
I wanted to share this hack with you guys. I ordered these prints off of Etsy and I printed them at home. I have printed some at Walgreens before and I just took some Mod Podge and painted along the brushstrokes of the painting itself. And this gives it a texture. It makes it look like a real vintage painting. And as you can see here, I did a little collection of four photos up above our couch. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for going along with me and decorating. And I hope you enjoyed seeing the kind of makeover that we did in this space. Also, leave a comment if you guys think I should paint the trim on our window sills the same color as the board and batten because I've been a little torn design minds about whether or not to paint that and I'm curious to know what you guys recommend or what you think. I've seen people on Pinterest do it. I've seen people wait and just leave it as is. So, curious to know what you guys think. I'm not sure if I'm going to paint it or not, but I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye friends.